Hello, hello, friends. My goodness. Welcome to my vlog. A little update here. I'm doing these more regularly because it's fun and fun is important to share joy, to share everything happening and everything happening with the sun behind me. The light is getting brighter in here. <laughs> so it's January right now, 2024. And our theme this month for the Strala Yoga app is how you feel when you get where you are going is determined by how you feel along the way. Yes, I have to close my eyes when I say that because it's kind of long and I have to really put myself in that feeling mode <laughs> to communicate it correctly. So let me see if I can just share it one more time so we can feel that vibe. Okay, if you want to close your eyes, feel free. <sighs> how you feel when you get where you are going is determined by how you feel along the way. Yes. <laughs> so this is important, especially when it comes to working on goals, working on yourself, doing your practice, doing all of these things. And I think it's such a lovely theme, lovely practice in and of itself to do. Really notice how you feel is so important. Um, I just had a conversation with my newer friend, Megan Reardon Jarvis. She actually went to high school with Mike and I met her at one of Zibby Owen's retreats. I was teaching yoga and she was there as an author of Zibby's and she's a therapist for decades. And she wrote a book about her own experience with childhood trauma, adult trauma, and then essentially checking herself into a mental care facility to help herself get through um, basic, basically like a breakdown kind of a situation. She's a mom of three kids and she just couldn't do it anymore. The trauma caught up with her and she was having symptoms. And thankfully as a therapist, she knew her symptoms were getting worse and worse and she needed treatment to get better. So really, really awesome to chat with her and that'll be up on the Tara Styles podcast very soon if it's not already and you can enjoy that. So a lot of what I talked with her about was how we practice, you and I <laughs> and everyone here hopefully and in our Strala Yoga community, we practice noticing how we feel with yoga. And that's really so much of what drew me into yoga in the first place was, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm in my own spaceship and I can notice how I feel. And then when the practice is over, I can do something about it. I have more energy. I have more access to my creativity. I'm more confident so I can do these things and not just kind of do the basic actions of life. And I've sort of got a better chance at not messing this up. <laughs> you know what I mean? So... I loved that about yoga from the very beginning. And then when I started to explore more yoga, I started to realize, oh, there's all this rigidity. There's all this ignore how you feel in yoga. And I got really mad about it. <laughs> and I said, yoga is so amazing. Why does it have to be ruined? So I started leading yoga in this notice how you feel kind of way, which was unfortunately very rebellious at the time and still kind of is. But we can change that. We are changing it together. So notice how you feel when you practice yoga. Don't just suffer through it and do the moves and say, oh, I'm not flexible enough. I'm not strong enough. You know, you are flexible enough. You are strong enough. And yoga will help you feel more like you so you can create that more optimal balance, that more optimal flow in your own experience for yourself. And that physically means a healthy range of flexibility and strength and being usable in your body, feeling good in your body. Um, it's interesting, this dance studio that Daisy's been going to sent out this newsletter about how they're doing, uh, or at least trying really hard to be positive about dancers' bodies, young dancers' bodies. I'm like, oh, that's really cool that they're trying to do that. Um, they have some self-awareness. And one of the articles they shared was an article that I kind of, very much disagreed with and it was about being okay with sort of not liking your body and 
treating your body as just a body and you're your mind and you're your soul and you're your spirit and all this stuff. And it's sort of like, wait a minute, we had all this progress. We had body positivity and that's great. And then we're kind of continuing on with take care of yourself and accept yourself and accept other people. And, and there's not one size that's an ideal size and, and take care of yourself from where you are, but always improve, always improve, not just always shrink or always change your weight, but always improve how you feel and your well-being and all this stuff. So it kind of took us right back to a lot of progress undone of, it's okay if you don't love yourself. It's okay if you just eat whatever you want. It's okay, all this stuff. And, and a lot of it just shouldn't have been an article. It's more of a conversation of if you're going to have food that's, you know, not exactly nourishing we don't need to have, you know, this extreme conversation of this is the healthy food and this is the unhealthy food. A lot of that is common sense in a way. We all know that eating fast food is not as healthy for you as eating a home cooked nourished meal of some sorts or whatever. But now that's up for debate again. There's all this conversation around, well, food is food and calories are calories. And it's like, well, no, let's not, let's not regress because we don't feel like taking care of ourselves or we're afraid of conversation. We don't want to be, you know, uh, hurt anybody's feelings. And it's just so wonderful to be in a life where you're saying, okay, I'm here, I'm good with myself. I love myself, but I also want to improve not just myself for superficial reasons, but I want to improve my ability to be a person in the world so I can then do better. And a lot of that might have to do with having more energy, having more strength, having more vitality, eating foods that are more nourishing, eating less foods that are less nourishing. These are okay to have good and bad, you know? There is good and there is evil, you know? There are good choices and there are bad choices. So we don't need to regress in that way. So I thought that was interesting, you know, kind of, um, you know, where the thought culture is on health and taking care. And a lot of people don't even like the word health or balance anymore. And I think all, all of these ideas are just good to talk about. We shouldn't shy away from talking about these things, but it's almost dangerous in a way to regress past you know, going back to, well, just whatever, you know, it doesn't matter if you're super unhealthy, you know, you're not your body. Okay, like I'm physically not my hand, but I have my hand and I want to take good care of my hand so I can use my hands <laughs> for my whole life and do good things with them. So just a thought, just a conversation. Um, I want to remind you that you are good enough, you are smart enough, and gosh darn it, people like you and you are worthy enough to take care of yourself the best you can. And when you make mistakes, you fall off, it's fine. Just come back to yourself, just like a meditation. You know, nobody is walking around doing everything perfectly all day long. Nobody is walking around saying all the perfect things, treating themselves perfectly, not having negative thoughts. That's part of the human experience, but we can strive to move toward a better way in taking good care of ourselves when we take really good care of ourselves, it's the least selfish thing in the world. When we do, we have the capacity to take care of other people, to use our energy for good, and to make the world a better place, which essentially most of us are interested in being a part of, and that's positive. So just keeping that conversation going. So I've been knitting <laughs> and Every month I give away hats to friends and strangers and new friends and all of this. And I've been giving them away to members of our Strala Yoga app. So all you need to do to be sort of entered to win a hat is to comment on any of the videos inside the Strala Yoga app, comment something about yourself and the practice, bonus points for that, but then also work in the word hat to that. And here are some of the hats that I have knitted to give away. This beautiful one here. This is one for a little person. Um, for any small friends you might have, cool gray one. I have this one done, and then I have this one done. So these are our January hats to give away. And I also wanted to share some knitting progress I have. <laughs> so I'm knitting this sweater. I'm super excited about it. 
I thought I might finish. Here's the front and the back. These are two pieces. I thought I might finish before the New Year's, but I did not. But see how this could be a sweater. There's the stitches there and the sleeve is coming along. So there's my measuring tape. I stole from my mom's house. And here's one of the sleeves. So I'll be done soon. I'll be done in time for Hear This Guys, the Vogue Knitting Live Conference, <laughs> which I am teaching yoga at. Chair yoga for knitters and for anyone. Everyone's invited. So I'll put a link below in um, the description here of that. So that's January 28th. So lots of cool things coming up. Okay, first for the Strali Yoga app, if you're not already a member, get on over. You don't want to miss out. We have practices every day, a new practice for you every single day. We have live classes twice a week where we get together, do the practice. You can chat. We can get together. It's, 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 I, I, I kind of, how can I say this? It's the most positive place on the internet <laughs> as far as community goes. We have a very robust, global, incredible community. Everyone is so unique and so different from each other, but we share so much in common and that's where we start our connections. And I'm just so proud of our Strala Yoga community for the last almost 20 years. Um, but really in the last three plus years, we've had the Strala Yoga app and the community there is the same as the community, you know, from before, plus new people that are finding us and finding this practice of moving with ease and all of the benefits that go along with that. And the support that we all give each other is so cool. It's so positive. So that's a huge, huge part of the Strala app as well. So we have a community board. It's like social media, but positive. <laughs> it's kind of amazing. So you take the wide open internet of the ocean and you bring it to this place of positivity and we've got our, our place and everyone's invited. And we don't need to police anybody or say what the rules are because we're practicing taking really good care of ourselves. And from that practice, you know, positive things happen. So it's been easy. It's been beautiful and joyful to be a part of that as well for myself and for Mike and for our Strala um, community. So there's the link below to join. Stralahome.com is the web version. And you can also get it at the Strala Yoga app, wherever you get your apps on the app store. Um, Roku, Amazon, all those things that I don't have that, that you might have <laughs> that are cool and fancy. You can cast it to your TV. I'm, I'm trying to keep up with technology the best I can. There's always something new to learn, but it's in all those places as well. Just search Strala Yoga and it's right there. So that's happening. So comment hat on any of those videos and I'm sending out several hats a month, however many I can get done. Um, knitting for me is such joy. It gives me something beautiful and positive to do while I'm thinking about you. I can also listen to a book at the same time. <laughs> so that's been really nice. Uh, I'm working on a new book. So hopefully I'll have some more information to share about that as the days and the weeks continue. It's a, it's a bit of a different book than the other books that I've written so far, but I think you'll find it expected as well. Um, if you've been following me for any amount of time, talking about all the same things really, um, but this is a useful book to have, to reference, to share with friends and family that you want to feel better, feel more at ease, and use these practices not just for yoga or Tai Chi or your movement, but for everything, which is really the whole point. So I'm really excited about that. That's something I'm really caring about, caring about quite a bit. So that's awesome. All right, so events coming up, yay. Again, I'll link all of that below. You can find all of the events coming up on stralayoga.com. We're always adding new things as they pop up. But January 26th at our friend's farm in Rhinecliff, that's just a short train ride from New York City or a drive from upstate or wherever you are, all the infos are how to get there. Um, they have a beautiful farm called Ad Addition Farm and they've built a beautiful studio that we're having our Strala Farm <laughs> events there. And we have a class there, an open class. Anybody can come. It'll be a easygoing, energized practice. It's really suitable for everybody. And bring the family, bring the kids. Daisy is there. She's been taking care of all the kids. She's only six and a half, but she's kind of corralled. Little kids will have coloring books and things like that so the kids can practice yoga. 
or they can go out with one of their grown-ups. Daisy's not going to babysit everybody. <laughs> She's not uh, old enough, mature enough, or qualified to babysit everybody there. But you can go out with, with a kid and, and one grown-up, and Mike is there too, so he can help and take the kids around to pet the horses and the donkeys while the grown-ups practice yoga. So the kids are invited for yoga if they can hang around for yoga or go off and um, see the donkeys that are right there as well and the horses. So that's a beautiful, beautiful thing. And the day after, I'm going to New York City uh, for the Vogue Knitting Conference. I'm so excited. I'm going to hopefully wear my new sweater that I'm knitting. That'll be fun. I'm teaching a chair yoga class for knitters and for anyone. And end of April, early May, I'm going to the Dolomites with my friend Erin Lewis, who set up this fabulous retreat for us. She's organized all the incredible places. There's forest bathing. There's awesome food experiences. The hotel is beautiful. It's very nice. Um, so come for that if you are in the mood for that. A lot of the same people are coming from our Iceland retreat. So if you've been to Iceland with us, you know, you know how awesome the Eat, Pray, Move retreats are. <laughs> but you can also just go to the website and, and read about all the cool things that will happen there. And then end of June, we're going to Geneva. Mike and I and Daisy's coming as well. Uh, we'll be teaching a two-day Strala intensive. So we've got a beautiful dance studio we're using for that. It's going to be amazing. So come and join us for that. Um, let's see, that's June, and our next big event is happening in November over American Thanksgiving, so Europeans don't do that, which is our fun time to go to Europe. So if you're American also and you feel like skipping Thanksgiving this year, come on over for that. We have our two-week, 200-hour program, so that is an amazing program where you're practicing noticing how you feel, getting stronger and more comfortable in your practice and practicing leading as well. So great for anybody interested in leading yoga in this way. It's great for yoga teachers of any background to come in. This is quite different than your average 200 hour yoga teacher training program where the skeleton is rolled out and you count the bones like you did in probably high school anatomy class. So we do some other things with our time <laughs> than that. So real practical teaching information, um, sequencing, movement, voice body connection, breath body connection, moving from center. This will get you able to do the things that you want to do sustainably. So this, this training has relieved a lot of teachers from vinyasa, vinyasa shtanga, power yoga, these kinds of backgrounds to find a more sustainable way to lead and be yourself while you're leading and, and grow your community and all of these things. Um, so welcome, welcome to our Strala community. Everybody's invited. Um, yeah, so we'll have more events coming soon, I'm sure. It's just the beginning of the year, but that's all coming up. So get yourself signed up so you don't have the FOMO or the, what is it, the, the JOMO. If you want to have the joy of missing out, that's fine too. You can practice with us on the Strala Yoga app and enjoy there. So big hugs, <sighs> lots of love. And I wanted to share with you all one last thing that our app developers figured out. So here's the link below for all of my YouTube subscribers. You can, if you're not already signed up for the Strala Yoga app, click the link. It will take you into the app with just a click or two using all your YouTube credentials. And there's three free practice videos for you there of 20 minutes and 30 minutes yoga practices. So enjoy, get excited, and then sign up for the full app so you can practice with all the thousands of classes we have over the last 20 years. It's all there, so we didn't, ha we didn't have to start from scratch. Um, and it's real, it's a real community, <laughs> it's a real thing. Um, it's not a gimmick, it's, uh, it's us. This is what we do with most of our time is practice with you and support people through the Strala Yoga app. So thank you for supporting us. Uh, we're real, we're people. <laughs> so um, we're grateful to have your support as well. So big hugs. Thanks so much for being here. I hope you enjoy this little vlog. I'll keep them coming and see you soon.